good morning welcome to my channel once again it's it's been a while since i have posted i'm really sorry about that because uh, there are a lot of things it's it's been a while uh, since um i posted um i'm sorry maybe those things might be a bit uh disturbing i use the caustic uh, pencil i've got a uh, skin tag so i'm really trying to get rid of them because they are giving me a hard time so don't <laughs> don't wonder what uh, is happening so today i'm going to teach you how to make an arrow pattern i uh, like i'm following on your request but this time uh, i have less pressure so i'll be uploading tutorials as per your request i'm really 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 sorry but i uh, thank you thank you so much uh, for being there and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel let's get started so this is what we'll be making this is the arrow pattern so i'm going to show you how we we make it so let's let's get started i hope it's it's visible so um we're going to pick up one bit that is our going to be our stopper bit and we pull our thread so you you now know that whenever you um doing bead work you always uh, need your your thread your twine your twine and your needle it depends on what you want to use so this is my stopper bit and i we have wood so in this case you can use your base as 12 beads but here i used um 16 beads the reason being that uh, i want to wear this on my on my legs i uh, i will i will attach the pictures so let's uh, pick up um, 16 beads one two so these are our 16 beads so remember each time when you turn you pick up four beads so we're going to pick up our uh, four beads and then we insert after picking up our beads we come like from the last bead you count one two three and then insert on the fourth bead and then you pull after pulling you pick up three beads one two three and then on the fourth bit you insert you pull and then we continue with our yellow picking up three three beads we count from where you inserted your needle you count one two three and then on the fourth bit you insert then you pull it's a short tutorial and it's it's just easy and then you can use any color that you want so in this case my main color is yellow and then pick up three you come on the fourth bit before the stopper bit you insert and then you pull and then from what we are doing here you see our next color we have to introduce introduce a new color so the next color is going to be our red so let's pick up our four red beads one two three four as we are turning we pick up four red beads and then you come to your central bead one two three so there's this the center bit this is the central bit i hope it's it's visible let me let me show you again one two three so this middle bit is your central bit so you insert your needle and then you pull then you get uh, something like this so we have to to get uh, this uh 
this arrow so we are going to continue with our yellow pick up a three yellow beads come to your central bead you insert and then you pull again to your central bead three beads you insert and then you pull three beads again you insert and then you pull remember you can use 12 you can use eight beads here in this case i used 16 the technique is just the same so now we have to to turn as we are turning we have to introduce red as well on the side so we are going to pick up four red beads for four red beads and then we insert on the middle bit and then we pull, we pull like this so the pattern is to continue we are going to continue with our yellow and then we come to the central bit we insert oh this is my bit third yellow you insert insert and then you pull then again pick up a one two three three yellow bits you insert on the central bit and then you pull so the pattern is to continue so now we are picking uh, three red beads, three red beads, and then you insert on the central bead, you pull, and then and then we are turning, we are going to pick up um, four for red beads and then here we are for red you insert the central central bead and then pick up three beads because uh, the pattern has to continue I, uh, I believe you you are seeing that our arrow is beginning uh, to shape up so you come to this central bit yellow central bit you insert now we have to pick um, up three three yellow yellow bits we insert then we now have our arrow so now we are no longer going to pick up the yellow beads we are going to pick up um, three red beads now we are working with red only and then insert on the central bead and then we come as we are turning again we pick up um, four Four red beads. The insert. Let's insert on this central bead. I hope it's it's visible and and clear. So now we are continuing three red beads. We have to form a a red a red arrow. An arrow must be visible. An arrow must be visible. I'm at work, so please don't mind the noise. But I'm I'm trying by all means. I don't have a mic, so but I hope you can hear me perfectly well. Pick up a three 
red beads so these three red beads are going to close our our yellow triangle our our yellow arrow i'm used to triangles and then here we are we pick up um three three red we insert so um here we are as we are turning we have to introduce a new color let me uh, show you something let's uh just observe so you see how do you know that uh you have to introduce a new color after this uh, first arrow there is this half half or semicircle is this half or three quarter circle that you see in this other full one after you have this on the next line you have to introduce a new uh, a new a new color you see we have one full in this half one full in this half so this will help you to know when to introduce a new color because if you look at this we have full circle half full circle half full circle half so if you you realize that you have a full circle and a half then on the next line when you are attending you have to introduce a new color so now we are going to introduce a um, blue that's a powder blue our powder blue color so here we are so now we put uh, the yellow aside we're going to work with red and a powder blue so we pick up one two three four powder blue colors you come on this uh, central bit the central red a uh, bit I, I hope it's visible and then we insert and then pick up three red beads we insert and then pick up uh, three three red beads you insert and then you pull and then we pick up three red again you, you insert on the central bit and then you pull so the moment when you introduce blue on the other side when you are turning on the other side you have to introduce blue and the other thing okay that is going to help you you have your half half circle and a full circle so that means you have to introduce another color that is a uh, powder blue we are waiting with powder blue there we are you insert and then we pull We insert red. And then you pull. Remember, I made. I made work. We insert. Pick up three red beads. Insert on the central bead. So you see our red arrow is beginning uh, to shape up. So now we have to continue with our powder blue. Here we are. And then we insert. Then we are turning. We are going to pick up um, four blue beads. We 
insert on the center of it. We are continuing with our plane. Three powder clip beads. And then three, three red beads because our arrow has to be pointed. Yes, it has to have a sharp, a sharp end. Yeah. So you see our red arrow is now pointy. So we are continuing with our powder blue. We no longer using using a red so let's continue then powder blue turning when we are turning uh, for for blue bit so we are going to end with our powder blue I'm sure by now you can continue, continue, continue until we meet on the next uh, tutorial. We pick up um, three blue beads. We're now closing. We're now closing the. We are closing the the red. Uh, so we are about to end our tutorial so we are going to stop here so this is it we we are stopping here so if you manage to start off like uh, the arrow and then you made this a uh, red arrow you'll be able to continue 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 using as many colors as you want you can you can be creative uh, with uh, colors I hope you understand uh, please comment like and share the channel and if you don't like if you don't comment it becomes difficult for me to be making tutorials for you because i want i really need your feedback i really need your feedback so on the next tutorial i will see what i will do it's very unfortunate i was a bit busy so there are a lot of things that i did this is a waist belt it's a different pattern as well and i also made uh, this sakila into not carry and i made i made uh, this this nice uh, glove so there are a lot of things and this yellow neck piece this yellow neck piece so this um these are uh, arrow arrow pattern uh bells that i'm making they are part of this uh beaded set they are part of this uh, beaded set i hope you enjoyed and please 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 share i'll be showing you more designs more patterns and all and you see this is another pattern it's not an arrow I hope you see it. It's a it's a straight line pattern. So I'll also make a tutorial. This one it's very it's one of the most most uh, simple patterns uh, to make. This is one of the most simple patterns to make. And I'll also make a tutorial on how you make uh, this uh, beaded uh, sagila. Um, this time it's just that uh, it was December, so people were getting married every now and then. I had uh, so much orders, so that's why I couldn't like uh, upload 
upload tutorials even if i did something that i know someone requested a tutorial on but it was really difficult because i was really working under pressure you can be crazy with those uh, with these colors you can be crazy with those colors so this uh, beaded glove will be done will be done soon you see mm. so now and then this is another pattern it's almost an an up down pattern you see it's also simple i will make sure i give you a tutorial on this one as well so keep posted you see it's so much beautiful you can play with colors in this case my set my main color was was yellow so that's why we have too much too much yellow so it's it's bye for now I have to finish off this because the person has to has to collect the order and also the photo shoot must be done must be done so I have to make a photo shoot wearing this before the person collects collects her order this is a waist belt a very very thick one so it's bye for now